Hey, this is Chris and Lamb of God. You're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News CD review, track by track, uh, of the new Van Halen album, A Different Kind of Truth. Uh, the album starts off with the song Tattoo. The song starts kind of with a Queen style vocal harmony of Tattoo, Tattoo. That makes you think, well, this could be pretty interesting, something different. Uh, the whole band then kicks in with an Eddie Van Halen guitar scrape. Uh, and that Eddie's providing both a basic rhythm and uh, squealing harmonics lead riff along with uh, Alex kicks in with his, you know, pretty much the same drum sound that he has. Nothing different on the drum sound. At this point, you know, this tune's going to, you know, be good. Uh, the song settles down into the first verse with just a simple beat and rhythm from Wolfgang on the bass. And Alex is, uh, you know, holding down the rhythm. And then uh, David Lee Roth vocals come in. Uh, the song builds up. We get some subtle keyboards a bit. Um, and then Eddie starts to chug away into the pre chorus. Uh, it's got a kind of a hook that grabs you. Um, the chorus is a simple tattoo, tattoo, but, uh, you know, kind of draws you in. Um, the second verse is much of the same. Eddie Van Halen comes in with some chugging riffs again, leading into the pre-chorus and chorus. Um, then we get to the uh, middle section, uh, leading into the Eddie Van Halen guitar solo, which of course uh, lasts lots of fast tapping, some cool runs in it. Um, nothing new for Eddie, though. You know, it's a classic Eddie Van Halen solo, well structured and fits the song really good. Uh, we like this song. It's not the greatest song on the album, but it is a good one. Next it goes into She's the Woman. This song is classic Van Halen. Wolfgang is very good in this song. It really stands out in the song. Uh, the song starts off with a little Eddie Van Halen guitar solo and then into the first verse. The chorus of this song is just She's the Woman. But it's very catchy. The drumming is very plain but still good. Uh, there's also an awesome guitar solo in it by Eddie. The verses in the song is uh, probably the catchiest part of the entire song. It's another good one. Another good one. And then it goes into You and Your Blues. This song starts off with a catchy classic style Eddie Van Halen riff with David singing over it, introducing the song. Then the song kicks in and it's a, it's a great song. This has a bluesy feel to it as the name of the t uh, song. And the song is really emphasizes Dave's vocals. Um, his range is pretty good in it. Dave really puts on some bluesy feel. Uh, and it's got just a you know a good bluesy feel for this track. And so far, you know, singing is really good on this album. Uh, goes into Chinatown. This song is absolutely mind-blowing. It's a really cool song. In our opinion, it's probably one of the best songs on the album. Starts off with amazing, very short guitar solo and then into the song. This is a cool, upbeat song that really pumps you up to listen to the rest of the record. Clearly one of the heaviest songs on the album, with Alex keeping the heavy sort of double kick drum beat, uh, double time. Uh, the whole song is absolutely amazing. Um, this is possibly would have been a cool song as the first single. It would have gave you maybe a different feel of it because it's a little heavier kind of heavier Van Halen, which we're looking for. And the then it goes into Blood and Fire. This opens up with Eddie Van Halen introducing the song with some clean guitar. Then David Lee Roth comes in, uh, and all I thought was, uh, oh, this is going to be another uh, you know another song that people might uh, not like, but. Uh, gladly wrong. This song is another classic Van Halen with a little modern twist to it. Eddie's guitar sounds a little different on this track than some of the other songs. The chorus is much better than the chorus in Tattoo. At about the 240 point, Eddie comes in with uh, what could be one of the best guitar solos on the album, uh, A Different Kind of Truth. So it's another good one. Bullethead. This is a cool track. It looks like the track they got their album title from as they say you got a different kind of truth in this one. That's the lyrics. Uh, it's another fast-paced, up-tempo rocking song, which is cool, uh, with some more amazing Eddie Van Halen guitar. Um, this is what we're looking for. It has got some classic Dave singing. Also, he's kind of like bu -bu 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 bullet head in the song. Uh, the song has another sort of ripping solo by Eddie. This is a very old-school Van Halen. Another great song to add to the collection. Uh, this could have been, you know, taken up from the archives because it does really sound like some old you know classic Van Halen then we go into as is this is a slower song on the album it starts with a very kind of funny count in probably by Alex pounding then Alex starts pounding on the drums with a neat effect on the drums it's like um, almost like the drums have some big reverb sounds the toms sound really big in it um, Eddie starts playing really heavy tuning um, 
some real cool guitar squealing and different uh, effects on the guitar. The intro kind of reminds me of their song, Everybody Wants Some. It has that sort of, maybe it's slower, but it's got the way that Everybody Wants Some um, starts off. It kind of has that type of feel to it. The toms kind of going and things in the background uh, really kicks in. It's a really cool song. Um, and another good one, actually, you know. And then we get to Honey Baby Sweetie Doll. This is a very interesting song. It has some really weird guitar sounds in it, some um, effects, kind of blows your mind a bit. It's really, uh, you know, really experimental kind of stuff in it. it has a feel on it like Strung Out did. Uh, it has a very sort of, some, some of it you can even say sounds like Vivian Campbell you know, sounding riff in it. Uh, it's a really cool, seems like Eddie really experimented with some guitar sounds on this song. That's pretty cool. Good to see that. And then uh, The Trouble with Never. This song opens up with Eddie playing the amazing riff, and then it goes into a chorus, which is really catchy. Uh, this is a perfect song for David Lee Roth to sing. Um, you know, David kind of sounds a little bit, uh, you might even say a little bit like a Kiss or a Paul Stanley type thing in it. Um, and then around the halfway point uh, in this song, Eddie starts up his guitar solo, and it's absolutely unbelievable Eddie really impressed on this track it's really good uh, they haven't really you know missed a beat on this stuff um, so after there's some on this song you know after Dave does some spoken word and things like that uh, Wolfgang is playing bass over top kind of Eddie comes back in with some you know really cool heavy guitar riffs uh, this song was a big highlight on the album definitely that's the trouble with never and uh, then out of space this is another upbeat song. Uh, I could first tell you the guitar voice riff was from like kind of like an older demo that they called Let's Get Rockin'. Sounds like that. Riffs are classic old school Van Halen. Um, has a and really good another solo in it. The song is a very cool chorus. Uh, like usual for Van Halen songs, you get stuck in your head. You know, always catchy stuff. If you want a little preview of this song, check out uh, their demo Let's Get Rockin' because it sounds... A lot, a lot like that song, but obviously, you know, different lyrics and different vocal approach and things like that. So you can check that out. Then we got uh, Stay Frosty. This song here is like basically part two of the song Ice Cream Man that they did. It's kind of very similar. The song is, uh, it starts off with acoustic guitar with, uh, with uh, David Lee Roth, you know, kind of talking over it. Um, really kind of bluesy singing almost just like Ice Cream Man does and then bang it explodes into the kind of faster almost like rockabilly beat uh, Eddie's absolutely cool on this he's got tons of you know run, guitar runs on it all over the place so it's a pretty good song as well and uh, then we get to Big River right when I heard uh, the guitar intro on this I knew this was Van Halen's old demo it's called Big Trouble it's very similar it's got to be it the riff of the song is really awesome. Then comes another sick guitar solo from Eddie. The, uh, this is Prime Van Halen. Another song that Wolfgang really stands out in as well. And then we got Beats Working. This is the perfect ending to the album. Uh, it's the probably longest it's the longest song on the album. It clocks in about five minutes. Uh, the beginning sounds almost like a... It's got sort of similar feeling to an ACDC type song. Uh, the riffs are really amazing in it. The bass line's very well written. Dynamics in the song are perfect. The song ends the album so perfectly that you think uh, to yourself, wow, that whole album was unbelievable. So, uh, you know, in conclusion, we are so happy that Van Halen wrote this new album for the fans um, and, you know, get some, some more Van Halen. It was kind of nice to hear this kind of sound again. You know, it was uh, the album is going to be huge. I think um, the production on this entire album is is great, um, perfect. You know, it has that old school feeling, which I think a lot of people liked. You know, they went through the Sammy Hagar sound. Now they kind of, you know, back to the old school with a little bit of a twist on it. Um, and it's, I think it'll please Van Halen fans. Dave is amazing on this album. You know, you never know what the vocals are going to be like. Um, but you know, I think he pulled it off, and Eddie is just as good as ever. So uh, this album, go out and buy this album on February the 7th, 2012. Um, you know, we'll give this album for a nice comeback, 9 out of 10. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.